Okay, so this is a problem about grit chambers that are part of preliminary treatment in a central treatment plant designed to handle domestic pollutants. So what is the required width of the rectangular horizontal flow grit chamber where the following conditions apply? They give us a flow rate here of three and a half million gallons per day. They give us a depth of the grit chamber. Tell us the particle diameter size it's supposed to come out. Uh, remember anything above a 0.2 millimeter will come out in a uh, grit chamber. Specific gravity, camp constant, Darcy friction factor. So they want to know the required width, so I think I'll go ahead and underline that. Required width, okay? Now, <clears throat> when you look at the givens and you have to come up with the width, you'll notice that you have a flow rate here and you have a depth. And you're probably thinking, well, between that, th those two things, I can come up with a flow rate. Well, the problem is you're not taking into account things like detention time and so on. So you look at the rest of this stuff. It doesn't help you out, but you do come across something called the camp constant. The camp constant. You've never heard of that before, of course, because there's a million of these constants by a million of these guys who come up with this stuff. So you look that up in one of your books, and you come across, as you look it up, one or two equations that the camp constant fits into. And the one you come across is this guy here, and you'll notice that it gives you something called V, which we understand is a horizontal velocity. So I go back up here, and I figure, well, if I have horizontal velocity, that really will help me if, since I'm given the flow rate and the depth, if I have that together with horizontal velocity, I can figure out what the width needs to be because I'll have a control volume at that point. Okay, So I kind of like this, and don't be surprised if you have everything given to you inside the camp constant equation, of which there may only be one or two or three. So it's not going to be uh, difficult to figure out which uh, ones of the equations that belong to a crazy camp constant actually help you. So. You go ahead and populate that camp constant equation. You'll notice that you do have everything from the givens. And you come up with what your velocity is. Now you can go back just to general mechanics where you try to figure out a control volume from that stuff. And lo and behold, you know the flow rate. And you know a flow rate is equal to the cross-sectional area in flow times the velocity you just calculated using camp constant. You know the area term here, the area term here is equal to the width times the depth. You're after the width, so you isolate it. Lo and behold, you have the given flow rate, the depth they gave you, and you computed the velocity using the camp constant. You plug all that stuff in, and you come up with a value of 1.9 feet. Pretty quick. The whole key is to spot the constant they give you and find out what equations does that fit into that might help you.